This short video will show you how to edit mark fixed fields in Sitka Evergreen. More correctly called control fields, the 001, 003, 005, 006, 007, and 008 fields are fields in the mark record that are each of a fixed length. The information in the leader and the fixed fields is used by Evergreen to determine how the record is displayed. For example, this record is a DVD, but we see a format icon for both a book and a DVD. To fix this record, we will need to inspect the fixed fields. Within the record, the bibliographic record that needs to be edited, select actions for this record and click mark edit. The mark edit interface will open. In Evergreen, there are two mark editors, the flat text editor and the standard mark editor. You can add, edit, and delete fixed fields in both interfaces. First, we will take a look at the flat text editor. We'll just check the box beside flat text editor. In the flat text editor, you always start a field with an equal sign and then the designation for that field. For the fixed fields, you'll leave a space and then enter the values for the characters as these fields have no indicators or subfields. Important things to remember in the flat text editor, the first character position is zero, not one. Uh, you'll need to put in backslashes to represent spaces, and you need to enter all characters and spaces, not just the ones that is important to you because the characters are positionally defined. In the standard mark editor, you can directly edit the fixed fields um, by clicking on the field line. Um, you can also add new control fields by right clicking on a field name and selecting add, replace, and then the, the designation for the appropriate field. Keep in mind, if you do the add replace function, it will erase the contents in the existing 006 or 007 tag. And um, so if you just wanna make one small change, you may just wanna edit it directly on the line. Now for the 007 field, uh, you also have the physical characteristics wizard, um, which is covered in another video. If you right click on the field for the 007, you get the option for the physical characteristics wizard. The mark fixed field editor provides suggested values for selected fixed fields based on the record type being edited. You can right click on the value control for a fixed field and choose the appropriate value from the menu options. The Evergreen database contains information from the Library of Congress's Mark 21 format standards that includes possible values for selected fixed fields. The right-click context menu options are available for fixed fields whose values are already stored in the database. For fields that do not contain possible values in the database, you will see the basic clipboard options such as cut, copy, paste, etc. Right click on the value control for the fixed field that needs to be edited. You can press the tab key or use the mouse button to click through each field. You can delete and add text as required by backspacing or highlighting existing text and over typing. Changing the values in the fixed fields will also update the appropriate values in the leader or the 008 field and other applicable fields such as the 006 field. For our example, we can see the 007 character is um, correctly coded as V for video recording. And this is why we're getting the DVD icon. Um, but the leader, if we look at the leader, it's coded A for language material instead of G for projected medium. To fix this, we'll just select the appropriate value for the leader field. Now you can continue editing the mark record as needed. Once you are finished editing the record, you'll just click save record. If we look at this record in the catalog, we can now see that it is displaying the correct icon just for DVD. Thank you for watching this video and for more information, please visit the BC Library's cooperative website.